Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. A few videos ago I tested the Unitech thermoelectric cooling dock for Steam Deck and today I thought we would continue from where we left off. Now I don't know how much you remember from that video but the results was quite disappointing to say the least. So what do I mean by continuing where we left off? Well I thought we in this video were going to test something that was pointed out by a few of you in the comments. What if we had the JSAW back cover with the integrated cooling plate? Well, it's here. Let's find out. The JSAW transparent back cover doesn't only come with the back cover itself, it comes with a bunch of extra screws as well as tools to dismantle your Steam Deck. It also comes with three different sets of back buttons with different amounts of flex to them, if you wish to swap out the original back buttons. But of course we can also find the gorgeous back cover with the integrated metallic cooling plate I was referring to earlier. It's not 100% transparent, but rather has this smoky transparent look to it, and if you ask me, it looks absolutely amazing. Now if you haven't already figured out, we're gonna have to remove the old back cover from our Steam Deck. It's pretty simple and all you have to do is to unscrew a total of 8 screws from the back using the included screwdriver or use one of your own as I do here. Oh, and one of the most important things to do before you try to remove your back cover is to remove your SD card first. I have seen so many broken SD cards over at the Reddit community and it breaks my heart every time. Once you have secured your SD card, it's time to pry the cover from your Steam Deck. There's no perfect method to do this, but I like to start over at the shoulder buttons, and when I have successfully pried it all around, I use my hands to tear it off. But be careful, before we put our transparent cover in place, we need to do a few things. We're gonna have to remove the plastic sheet that covers the grey thermal pad that you can see here, and we also have to choose which back buttons we want to use for our new back. I like the red ones without really knowing, so for this video I'm going for those. You just line them up accordingly on the back, making sure they are in the correct spot. Then you use the screws that were included for them. And once you're satisfied with your choice of buttons, it's time to remove that plastic sheet and then mount the cover to the back of our Steam Deck. Basically all you have to do is to line it up on the back, then use your hands to squeeze it in place all around your Steam Deck. And once you have done that, use the 8 screws that you unscrewed before or the ones included if you for some weird reason have lost your original screws. Now quick disclosure here, I found out that my R4 didn't work at all if I tightened the upper left screw too much. This could definitely be a problem that only I have and for this video I didn't go back to re-screw my back buttons, which I will do later. But just so you don't get the same problem, make sure to keep pressing your back buttons and listen for that clicking sound so you know that it works. Oh and one more thing, this goes out to JSAW, for the love of god please don't use colored stickers on the buttons as they get really messy with the glue. Anyway, once you're done it should look something like this, and I must say that I actually think it looks so much cooler, no pun intended, than the original back cover. But now for the part that everyone wonders, will the Steam Deck become any cooler with a new cover and thermal pad cooling plate? I have been running Spider-Man for around 8-10 to 10 minutes, and as you can see my GPU and CPU temps are at around 77-78 to 78 degrees. Compared to in my last video, we have dropped almost 10 degrees already using the back cover only. But the thing with thermal pads is that they are heat conductive materials used to transfer heat from one component to another in electronics. They work by filling the gap between components reducing the thermal resistance and increasing the surface area for heat transfer. They are commonly used to transfer heat from high powered devices like CPUs and GPUs to cooling systems like heat sinks or cooling fans. But in this case it doesn't transfer the heat to a fan or any other cooling system. The heat has nowhere to go. This means that if we just play long enough the temps will rise to the same levels as before. But what if the heat had somewhere to go? Okay, a bit overdramatic, gotcha. But anyway, now I will leave my Steam Deck on the Unitech Thermoelectric Cooling Dock running Spider-Man for around 10 more minutes. 
and we'll see if we get better temps than before. I will of course speed up the process for you. Okay, so another 10 minutes have passed and once again I'm disappointed with the results. I have tried to line up my steam deck so that the cooling plate on the Unitech dock is covering as much of the back cover plate as possible, but it still hasn't done anything to the temps. I will keep testing this for longer periods of time and see if anything changes, but the first tests indicate that cooling the steam deck using thermal pads and thermoelectric cooling is harder than it looks. But before I end this video I also want to try something else. JSO also sent me their new mod case and this battery driven cooling fan that you can either mount to the case or directly to the Steam Deck itself. I'm gonna review the whole mod case later, but for this video I just want to test the cooling features of the fan. So without any further delay I'm gonna leave Spider-Man running for 10 more minutes and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that was by far one of the most unexpected events so far in this channel. I really didn't think that this external fan would do that much to the internal temps of both the CPU and the GPU. I'm actually playing Spider-Man now and the temp is between 67 to 69 degrees. By far the lowest I have seen a AAA game run in on the Steam Deck so far. I will of course test this fan further in my full JSAW mod case video that will come later on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, please show me some love by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget that Valentine's Day is coming up. If you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.